click on the subscribe button to watch more videos on my youtube channel and also click on this bell icon to get all notifications on your mail hi friends in this video i'm going to explain how to develop a square cone in autocad first open the autocad software i'm using the autocad 2016 and go into the new file after that you can observe the different types of templates select the a cad and select the open with no template metric because i'm using the all dimensions are in mm nothing but millimeters and go on to the southwest isometric view before you want to develop the new of the model and go on to the visualize and go to the visualize style select the conceptual and go on to the command prompt what you want to develop this i will explain with the uh, square cone with the pyramid command in this tutorial and let's get started After that you can observe the pyramid on the left side of that you can observe the box you can observe the modeling you can observe the pyramid command you want to uh, type the command on the command prompt you can also type this by using the command prompt I am giving the pyramid you can see observe on the command prompt PYRA MID and click on enter PVR is the shortcut and you can observe the after selecting the visualize styles you can observe it asking the center point select the any of the center point on the space you can observe this pyramid space for base radius is asking I'm giving the base radius is 258 mm and the pyramid space for height is and giving the top radius you can also give the top radius I will explain one of the example with the top radius first go on to the what are the features are available in you can observe the top radius after the pyramid space for top radius you can give the top radius as usual. I'm giving the 108 as per as per my dimensions I'm giving this and go on to the space for height it is asking next give the height of the 450 you can observe the base radius and the top radius and the height I'm giving what is 258 and the 108 and the height is 450 you want to change this you can change the wireframe surface styles by using the visual styles option for the you can observe the different types of views southwest isometric and southeast isometric and observe on the view manager you can observe the views and the northeast isometric and southwest isometric you can select how to want to develop the drawing and go into the visualize styles after that uh, go on to the double click on that you can observe the top radius what is the dimension of carbon by simply double click on the object object developing and go into the line space for first point and the second point by using the line command I want to intersect the two lines with the horizontal lines with the two vertical lines and you can observe that after that I want to develop like a shell of this cone square cone again I'm using the pyramid option and select the point after selecting the point you can observe the uh, same rectangle space what are the dimensions I'm giving same as copy the dimensions and simply intersect to the point on the bottom of the top radius and select the top radius on the below you can observe the top radius it is asking after selecting the base radius same as I'm giving the base radius is I want to make a thickness of 8 mm of the shell because I'm giving these dimensions you can observe by double click on the dimensions you can observe the different types of dimensions are available you can observe this top is showing like this I'm giving this pyramid top radius 250 uh, before is 250 you can observe the height and what is the height is mentioning same as height 450 it has the space for the height of the two point axis and point I'm giving the space for height of 450 without selecting any of them you can observe it is come on to the top of the space you want to change this on the below simply go on to the double click and the height mention the height in the minus uh, the plus symbol is changed to minus then the object this comes to the closer to the object the direction of the frame is changes and the shade of the gray you can change the visual style by using this by using this simple command you can uh, develop the square cone already explain the general cone in my previous tutorial and go on to the base radius 100 I'm giving you can observe that and some of the dimensions I'm changing and deleting the reference lines what you created before and the shell is completed you want to remove the object you can observe the base radius and the top radius and the sides are 4 and the height is 450 you want to change the color you can also change the color to red this is the inside I'm mentioning red and outside is white 
for explanation you can observe the 3d solid model you can by using this pyramid command and by using the subtract command you want to remove the objects you can also remove the objects you want 3d model of the solid object you can remain constant like this and you can give the dimensions after that make sure give the subtract command and go on to the shaded gray and go on to the subtract and click on the first object and click on enter and select the second object of the inside object what you created before with the dimensions and click on enter the remove of the material is completed the material is removed from the solid cone object of the square cone you can observe the uh, the cone is created with the different types of uh, uh, views you can observe this cone by using the 3d fr bit command you can rotate the um, cone as your wish you can recreate the different types of views you can observe on the top of the screen and these are the visual styles and the home by using the pyramid simply develop the any types of square cones you can also develop the multiple type of square cones by using the axis and point command also already explained some of the basics in my previous tutorial how to draw the pyramid and go on to the viewport configuration in viewport configuration you can observe the different types of views you can multiple types of views you can observe in the space at a time by using this viewport configuration on the model viewport it is available in the visualization palette and you can observe i am rotating the 3d f orbit command i'm rotating the all of the objects in some of the proper view positions for example you want to uh, know the detailing of the front view top view side view like this you can go on to the viewport configuration and select the any of the types of views you want to develop the, the multiple views you can want to develop or you want to uh, detailing the dimensions by using this the viewport configuration is very helpful and you see i'm um, some of the drawing is put in a vertical position keep it in vertical position and the one of the in horizontal position like this you can do the front view top view side view of the any of the objects um, for grab the details of the object you can develop the 3d model also 